Do you want to make amazing homemade bread in just a few hours? We have the perfect recipe for you. It's baked in a Dutch oven, which makes it crispy on the outside, tender on the inside. It's like a legit artisan bread loaf. It doesn't take too long to make. Hey, it's Sonia from A Couple Cooks. Here's how to make homemade bread in a Dutch oven. Now to get started, I've weighed out all of my ingredients on a food scale. This helps you to get consistent bread every time. Now I'm gonna dump the dry ingredients into the bowl of my stand mixer. We have 200 grams of bread flour, 200 grams of all-purpose flour, 80 grams of whole wheat flour, half tablespoon of kosher salt, and two teaspoons of dry yeast. Give those a quick stir with your dough hook. Now you might be wondering why we're using three types of flour. It actually gives you the perfect artisan bread texture and flavor. Now we'll add our wet ingredients. One and a third cups filtered water, and then our secret ingredient, fourth cup Greek yogurt. And again, just use your dough hook to stir it quickly until a rough dough forms. Now we'll let the mixer do the hard work here because this would be a pretty difficult dough to knead by hand. So we have our trusty stand mixer. I will attach the dough hook and then we will mix it on low speed for eight minutes. Our kneading step is done. You will notice that the dough has formed into more of a ball. We will remove it from the mixer and place it into a bowl. All right, we're ready for the proofing step. That simply means don't do anything. Wait for the bread to double in size. It'll take about one and a half to two and a half hours. You wanna put it in a warm place and cover it. We like to use this sealable plastic bag. After proofing, you'll see this dough has doubled in size nicely. I threw the Dutch oven into the oven and preheated to 475, and then I'll go ahead and shape the dough. Take the dough out of the bowl and place it on a floured countertop, then grab a little flour and sprinkle it on top. Then use your bench scraper to flip the dough. Gently form the dough into a rectangle shape. Make sure not to deflate the air that's in the dough with your hands. Create a packet with the dough by folding it into thirds. Again, be careful not to deflate the dough. Then rotate it 90 degrees and roll it into a log. Place the dough onto a square of parchment paper and then use your hands to shape it into a loaf. Make sure that the seam side is down. Pinch off any seams and gently shape it into a loaf. We'll let this rest uncovered for 30 minutes. After the rest, rub a little flour on the top just for some visual appeal. Then score the bread by making a shallow cut into the top of the bread. You can use a sharp knife or a lom, which is what I'm using here. Now, as quickly as possible, I'm going to put this into the preheated Dutch oven. Set a timer for 17 minutes. Now this is where the magic of the Dutch oven happens. The steam will rise out of the bread but be trapped inside of that Dutch oven, creating the rise in that perfectly chewy crust. Now after 17 minutes, you will take the bread out of the Dutch oven, put it right onto the rack of the oven, lower the temperature to 400 degrees, and then bake another 23 minutes. Here is the final loaf. It came out beautifully. You can see the crust is Super crusty, there's this beautiful lip right here where we scored the bread. The hard part now is just waiting for it to cool off long enough to eat it. We'd love to know if you try making this Dutch oven bread at home. Leave a comment below or tag us on Instagram at a couple cooks. And if you love bread recipes, we also have a sourdough bread recipe using the traditional sourdough method. You can check out that video over on a couple cooks.